Hi, Mystics. Welcome to your new moon reading for July 2020. This reading is to offer us the guidance and the messages to assist us with best traversing the energy of the new moon in Cancer happening on Monday, July 20th at 1233 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. Today I will be reading with the Morgan Greer Tarot. I will be pulling four cards on our behalf, speaking about those cards individually, and then talking about them all together. And this new moon reading is sponsored by my patrons who are part of Mystic Membership over on the Patreon page. If you would like to support this new moon reading or you would like to receive the new moon reading a little bit more in advance, the patrons do receive early access to this reading. You can click the links below to see information about joining Mystic Membership. Let's dig in. What is the guidance? What are the messages and the guidance that we most need at this time to assist us with best traversing the energy of this new moon for July 2020th? And our first card is the Queen of Rods, one of my favorite cards. The Queen of Rods or Queen of Wands in most desks decks. She is a beautiful, charismatic uh, creature who revels in expressing herself physically, revels in expressing herself creatively, doesn't hold back, is integrated in her self-expression, integrated in her creative expression. She allows it to shine forth from herself like sunshine, like the light. She's a nurturer. She's a giver. She's a wise one who's also a little bit wild. Sometimes this card is about our beauty, our self-care. It's about our expression that we're able to tap into through our physical appearance. It's even about our sexuality and the way that we communicate such things to others and to the world around us. Sometimes this card tells us to get a makeover. It asks us, are you caring for yourself? Are you presenting the beauty that you feel on the inside to the outside world? Are you comfortable expressing your beauty, reveling in your beauty? Are you comfortable expressing your sexuality? Are you comfortable dressing yourself up in finery and showing yourself to the world? That's just one aspect of this card. It's also a very Leo type of card, very creative, outgoing, expressive. Let's see what else comes up for us in the messages and the guidance that we need to best traverse the energy of this new moon for July 2020. What? is the message that we most need at this time. I am seeing the king of rods, lots of rods energy, lots of fiery energy, lots of creativity, lots of passion, lots of pointing towards our hearts, pointing towards what brings us inspiration, what assists us with feeling engaged with the world, what assists us in feeling nourished and creative and enriched, what enriches our lives. This is what we need to be moving towards at this time. July 2020 is going to be a great time to do this. The king of rods, he is self-possessed. He is mature. He knows what brings him joy. He knows what brings him inspiration. He knows how to creatively express himself. He has no problem moving deeper towards that, moving deeper towards that pull to to joy, that deeper pull towards um, flourishing in his own creativity, flourishing in his own expression. He's moving deeper towards a fuller integration of creative and passionate and inspired growth and activity and nourishment and um, and expression in his life. The Queen of Rods and the King of Rods both speak of this. And it's interesting that we have them here next to each other in a very balanced way, indicating that this is a good time for us to balance those energies in our lives, to balance um, what we need 
personally and against what we need professionally to balance what we need in our relationships against what we need as individuals and to assess how can we move deeper into our creativity and our passion and our self-expression and our beauty and our enjoyment of these things in our lives. How can we enrich ourselves? How can we nourish those aspects of our self-creation, our self-expression, our creative endeavors? What's going to bring us enrichment to take us to a new level to assist us with deeper inspiration. These cards indicate we already know what inspires us. We already know what makes us feel passionate. We already know what makes us feel good. And now it's a time to assess the balance of that aspect of our lives and to assess how we can deepen it and nourish it. Let's see what the rest of the guidance is for traversing this Cancer New Moon in July 2020. The next card is the Moon card, very Cancerian. I'm not sure if Cancerian is a word, <laughs> but this is very, very much in alignment with that Cancer energy. And the moon, of course, is about our emotions, and it's also about the underworld, the underworld of our psyche, the underworlds of our emotional, energetic body, what goes on beneath the surface, what goes on in our dreams. And the moon tells us, dive into that, dive into that shadow material, dive into that subconscious material, dive into that dream world, dive into that spirit world. See what kind of messages you receive there. The moon is telling us it's time to dive more deeply into this. This will be a great time to do it, but be careful that you have a life preserve. Don't get in over your head. Stay grounded, stay balanced. Keep a, a good boundary between yourself and your physical reality and this deep delving that you're doing. Do it with safety, do it with security and in terms of our creativity and our creative expression and our passion that we've been discussing with these rods cards, the moon says it may be time for an unconventional approach. It may be time to get some material, some inspiration, some ideas, some visions, some imagery from our meditations, from our shadow work from our dream world, um, perhaps some self-hypnotism, perhaps some deep trance work. The moon says, go deeper, don't be afraid to be unconventional. Really find ways to delve in and allow yourself to receive. The moon is a very receptive card. It says, allow yourselves to receive that which wants to come to you. Be open, be receptive, be in your heart, be in your emotional center. Tap into these areas for further signs, further guidance, further information about how to deepen these creative and passionate aspects of your life that are really um, going to bring you further joy and fulfillment in, in the rest of the month as well as in the rest of the summer and the coming months ahead. I'm picking up on this as being a transformative time, this moon being a transformative time, leading us really deeper into fulfillment in these areas of our lives. Let's see what our last card is to assist us with the guidance for best traversing this Cancer New Moon, July 2020. What is the last card that we need to round out this beautiful message coming through for the Cancer New Moon on July 20th. And we have the Three of Rods. The Three of Rods, so more fiery, passionate energy, more heart-centered energy, more warm energy, inner child kind of energy, um, more emotional nourishment telling us feed those flames feed the fire of your emotional nourishment and the three really indicating to us almost exactly what i was saying this is a time to embark on a new journey towards these things and in order to do so you're going to have to determine 
what needs to be left behind, but it's not going to be a difficult choice. There is so much that you can see on the horizon now. Your heart feels so full. You feel so full of passion and inspiration. You're going to understand that you have so much more in front of you that it's no longer going to be a difficult or a hard choice to leave the things behind that need to be left behind. It's time to embark on this journey you're going to be feeling it in a brand new way. The time for change is here. Make use of this guidance and you will be experiencing this transformation in a beautiful, a beautiful way that's going to continue to bring you inspiration and fulfillment into the near future. Stay blessed and have a wonderful new moon.